Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. Today we are going to talk about design and simulation of forward converter in MATLAB. This is a circuit diagram of a forward converter. A forward converter is basically an isolated DC to DC converter that is similar to that of a buck converter. The only difference is that uh, it basically uses a transformer that is used for isolation purpose. Uh, one of the most important comparison with forward converter and uh, flyback converter is that forward converter can uh, produce a higher amount of power uh, at the output in comparison with respect to flyback converter. So let us get into the design point of view. Uh, there are a lot of assumptions to be made in forward converter. Uh, it's very pract it's practically very difficult to uh, have an exact design. So we'll roughly get into uh, a design that has a lot of assumption to it. So the step one is to determine the duty ratio, uh, which is uh, given by the formula. We are assuming a turns ratio of about 12. Um, so uh, how, like one of the important things to note is that uh, uh, we do not have to enter the turns ratio in MATLAB. We can directly enter the input output voltage that is required so that is why it's written in notes so please make an observation about it uh, step two is to determine a, uh, the value of uh, LX uh, so that can be determined by assuming a 40% variation inductor current again this is another assumptions that is uh, actually made uh, once we find LX uh, the next step is to determine the capacitance value um, there are few things to uh, remember here uh, we have assumed 1% ripple uh, however a different uh, uh, ripple percentage can be assumed uh, we are assuming uh, an inductor like a current change in uh, uh, capacitor current uh, to be 2 amps that is another assumption that is made and we are finding out the value of C uh, from the value of R. this is one of the most important things uh, with respect to finding the C value once we have all these handy we will be able to uh, get started in MATLAB these are most important uh, uh, components that are required so I'm just giving you an overview of what is required over here um, so Let's go to MATLAB and get all right uh, here we are in MATLAB I've already dragged and dropped few components that are required one of the most important uh, uh, items uh, in the, like one of the most important components that is required is linear transformer just go for uh, the block simulink library uh, browser and just search for linear transformer you'll be getting it so this is how we have to get the linear transformer that is here uh, once uh, we have all the components in here uh, we'll select the type of component that is required according to a circuit diagram and the designed values so an inductor of about inductance of about 5.39 uh, 5.39 uh, into 10 power 6 uh, we will be using uh, a capacitor across uh, a load uh, so 3 that uh, value is of about 400 uh, microfarad so care has to be taken with respect to it um, we are using a resistance across the load um, and its value is assumed as uh, 400 ohms uh, according to this design and uh, like uh, one of the most important thing is to uh, disable these measurements um, apart from that uh, we have uh, a pulse generator block that is used as an input that is uh, for the MOSFETs so the time period here is 3.33 into 10 power minus 6 that is uh, the switching frequency assumed is uh, 300 kilohertz so the reciprocal will give you the time period uh, that is T is equal to 1 by F um, the duty cycle is 35.3 uh, in this uh, design we'll be selecting them as well so let's connect the components according to it one of the commonly made mistakes uh, is the way MOSFET is connected um, usually care has to be taken with respect to it um, the linear transformer uh, will be having the quantities in SI units uh, so we have to change uh, it according to it so uh, one of the most important things with respect to R1 and uh, L1 is that we will not uh, be having any value of them uh, we'll set them to zero both across the primary and secondary windings the purpose of doing it is uh, we do not want any additional drops um, according ac across the transformers uh, so we'll try to reduce as far as possible the supply voltage across the primary is 170 volt and we're expecting an output voltage of about 5 volts so let's set them uh, accordingly we don't use a three winding transformer here disable it and click on ok let's uh, connect the components uh, in this particular order that is arranged so a resistive load as already mentioned uh, we will be using a resistive load in this case 
so once we have all of them um, we can get started uh, with the simulation process a scope that is used to display the output waveform the voltmeter is used across the load in order to determine the amount of voltage that is there uh, the scope is used to display the waveform and um, the uh, this block is used to give the RMS value of output voltage and the display screen is used in order to display the amount of uh, voltage uh, that is available. Once all of these is done, uh, we can simulate. So we need to set uh, the input voltage as well. So that is 170 volt. Um, so let's run the simulation. All right, uh, from the display, it's very clear that we're getting a voltage approximately equal to four um, and uh, the waveform uh, can be viewed by double click on, clicking on the scope. So this is the waveform, which is approximately equal to four. Um, the reason why we're getting four volts, not five volts is because of uh, the magnetization resistance and inductance. There will be some amount of voltage drop. So uh, this is uh, always there. So um, that's it for today. Uh, if you like this uh, video, please do like it and uh, subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thank you.